Dips here from the sales team for Kyle Audio Security. Today, we're gonna to be looking at a brand new head unit from Grundig, and the model number is GX3800. Okay, so the Grundig GX3800, it's a doubled in touchscreen stereo, features Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, both done via USB, so no wireless option on this one. We have Bluetooth for hands-free calling, as well as audio streaming, and finally, DAB radio. So let's get this open and take a closer look. Okay, so now we've got everything taken out of the box. Let's go through all the bits and pieces. So first is the removal keys. As the name says, you'll need to use this if you need to take the stereo at a later date. We have the microphone, which is needed for hands-free calling. You have a trim that goes over the stereo once it's installed. We have the DAB antenna. It's a windscreen mount, so make sure it's installed. Otherwise you get no DAB radio. And finally, the most important thing, the manual. Please read the manual, thank you. Okay, so let's have a look at the connections on the back. We'll go over the front in a moment. Right, so we're looking at the back of the stereo now. Some of you may have noticed, or not, that the stereo didn't come with a wiring harness. Here's why. Everything's been shrunken down, and now we have an ISO connection there. So whichever harness you use to convert from your car to ISO, that will go straight in there. Other connections on the back, we have two sets of rear pre-outs here. The stereo does have three sets of pre-outs, all at full volt. So you've got rear, front, however, the subwoofer has been moved to this cable here. Now it's a mono cable, you need to use a wire cable if you're looking to add a subwoofer as well. Other connections include the microphone. So the microphone that we saw after the unboxing, that gets plugged into here. We have the USB connection for your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto. Other connections on the back, we have the input for the DAB radio. So you connect the antenna into there. You have the analog radio input through there as well. Other connections we have are an AV in. So you have your audio input and your video input. We also have a video output, and we also have a camera input. Let's look at the front. Okay, so let's plug this in and see how long it takes to boot. Power on. Okay, so we're up and running. So initially it will take longer because it's the first time you're booting it up. So just bear that in mind. Right, for the moment of truth, let's peel this back before we start playing with this. Yeah. Okay, so we've got a 6.8 inch touchscreen. From looking at it, colors are vibrant. Very good looking stereo. We've got buttons along the left hand side of the stereo. So we've got your volume up, your volume down, you've got your power, also functions as a mute. We've got voice recognition on here as well when you've paired with your phone. And we've also got a clock function on there if you hold it. There you go. So let's look at some of the other features. So on the home screen, you have the time on the left hand side. You've got the option to use the clock by touching that. We've also got your radio, your mirror link function, USB, Bluetooth, your phone, and your audio. So if you need to go on radio, give that a touch. It will open up your FM and medium wave radio. If we go back to the home page, we have your phone mirroring option, which we will connect in a moment. USB, so if you plug in a USB drive with some music on there, you can play it from there. You can also play videos. So have a look at the manual, as you'll need to make sure that the file format matches up. We've got your audio settings on here. We'll go through those in a moment. We've got your phone option. So once you pair your phone via Bluetooth, you'll be able to make and receive hands-free calling. We've got another page over here. So we've got your AV input. We've got your DAB radio. 
we've got your settings and there's a DVR option available as well. So let's run through some of the features. Slide that back. Let's do the audio options. Now, what I like about this stereo is all the icons are available and it tells you straight away what they're for. So if we go into your equalizer, you've got 13 band EQ here. So if you're the type of person who likes to tinker with your music and getting it sounding exactly how you want, that's a great place to start. We've also have time alignment function and what that will do is it will marry up the speakers based upon their distance to make sure that everything is playing at the right time. We have your crossover settings, so if you've got multiple speakers such as tweeters, mid-range speakers and subwoofer, you can actually set up where the frequency kicks in from and where it cuts off. So again, it looks very easy to use right there. Next option we've got is virtual subwoofer. So what this option does is it creates an environment where it makes a subwoofer appear out of nothing. So if you don't have a subwoofer and you want a little bit more bass for your system, it will initialize a simulation of a subwoofer so you get more lower frequency. You have your fader and balance options. Again, you can decide where the music goes. So if you want to center it towards the driver's side or the passengers, you can adjust these settings here and get it sounding it, getting it sounding how you like. We've also got your X bass option as well. So if you want to use the bass booster or the dynamic bass, that's another option as well. You've got varying degrees of bass booster right there as well. Okay, so let's see how the CarPlay function works. Okay, so I've got my phone here, USB cable. Let's plug it in, see what happens. Okay, so we're straight in. So if you're unfamiliar with Apple CarPlay, this will give you a list of apps that are from your phone that can be used on screen. So you can forget about your phone, put it in your glove box, and operate everything on the head unit. Let's take a closer look. So the main screen on Apple CarPlay, as you can see, shows your, your maps, showing a few places to shop and it's also got Spotify loaded over here. There's a few other apps that you can use. So if you press this button over here, it brings up a list of apps that are already on your phone that can be shown on the stereo itself. So your phone options, your maps, your messages, your calendar. I have TuneIn Radio downloaded. I also have Waze, also got WhatsApp loaded, also got a parking app there as well. There's also a few settings here that you can utilized to your advantage. Let's see how the mirror link function works. In order to get that to work, you need to go into the settings. You need to have a look at phone connectivity settings and then go into phone connection device. So as you can see here, it says we're using an Apple device. So we need to tell the stereo that we want to use iPhone mirror. Once you go into that, it says, please unplug your cable before selecting the source. Press close, change. Now let's plug it in, see what happens. You accept a notification on your phone, say that you trust. Once you're there, give me a moment. So now it should display the mirroring function. Let's have a look. So you go back. There you go. Now the iPhone mirror function has been enabled. Go onto it. It will display the phone and this will allow you to display whatever's on your phone on the stereo. You have to make sure that you don't lock your phone. Otherwise you can't see what you're doing. So you can run apps such as YouTube. Seen them before? 37. Oh my day! That was the Grundig GX3800, currently on the website for $369.99. For a stereo that has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and DAB Radio, 
you get a lot for the money. From what I like about the stereo is the audio features. They're very user friendly and very easy to understand. Right, that's the end of the video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. My name is Dips. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one. Right, for the moment of truth, let's peel this back before we start playing with this. Yeah. That was intentional? I don't know, I just said it. Okay, right. Should it again? That's definitely a sex joke. <laughs>